Hey everybody, Feng here again with the uh, another tutorial. So uh, today we're going to do something very similar to our uh, episode, I think, what, 2, which we took that um, Russian looking tank attacking the city. Uh, so quite similar, uh, you can see here I loaded up a painting, uh, what the final one looked like. Uh, again, I'm going to try to keep these nice and casual, so pardon if uh, not everything is perfect or uh, I stutter or you know drink coffee and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, quite casual, so that way we could get through it and keep, keep it nice and light so you could follow along, you know, not too complicated. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so here's the image. Let me uh, let me lock these layers so I don't paint on them accidentally. Okay, so this image here, I'll show you the uh, the before. Okay, is a a painting that one of my students in my certificate class started. So these cert classes, they're not full time students. They take these um, part time, um, but I'll show you that painting right now. Bloop. Okay, so here it is. Okay, so they, you know it's not the greatest in the world. However. It has a very high potential because this student took the time to uh, do certain things right. For example, the perspective relatively looks correct. You know, I see a somewhat of a one-point perspective from these buildings here. These buildings go to something. There's obviously a horizon line somewhere in here. So these kind of things helps a lot when you're set, especially when you're doing environments. Uh, later, when we start to get into character work and all that, uh, it's a little easier to get away from that type of things. But when you're doing environments, uh, especially like this, where there's a lot of uh, perspective involved and you needed to create depth, this is a crucial part of it. Without that, it's very hard to get to look right. Okay. Um, all right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on this layer here and turn everything off okay and show you step by step on the decisions I made and why I chose to do these to enhance the painting okay so let's uh, start with number one okay so you can see here I'm turning this layer on this is something I did to soften up the sky it typically uh, unless it's a raining day where nighttime is coming uh, during the day the sky is usually brighter than the environment. So, and of course, with clouds and rainstorm and all that, everything could change. Uh, but again, to start it, I like to have a little bit of lighter sky. That way, I could punch out this shape here, which is our selling point. And I'll explain that in a bit. If you watch the other tutorials, uh, you'll hear me saying these sim same terms over and over, and some stuff like composition or selling point. Selling point, again, is what you want the viewer to see. In this case, it's this building. Pretty obvious, it's the biggest one on the screen. Uh, everybody's like this guy is looking at it. Uh, all that is quite nice. So uh, here I just lighten up the uh, sky. Okay, and here I start painting some stuff. Notice I got rid of the, the foreground element. The student actually did a quick good job. This uh, this composition here has all the making of a very good painting. And what I mean by that, you have your one, two, three. Here's number one, which is your foreground. Yeah, I'll write that out. And then you have your middle ground. Middle ground is usually, most cases, your selling point. Okay, so there's your selling point. Okay, and then you have a background, which is called a BG. Uh, and this creates a level of depth and it creates somewhat of a story because foreground, what it does, is establish a scale. It tells the viewer who I am and how big am I. And it gives you a little bit of a distance recognition because everyone knows how big a human being is. And then the middle ground, of course, is your selling point. Right, you have this. And the background tells the viewer where they are. If you if you black out the background sometimes, the audience could generally get kind of confused, especially in, in, in video games or films, when you switch a shot from left to right and somehow you don't see the background, uh, you could lose certain audiences. They might go, Hey, where, where am I? You know, where the hell did I did that go? So you know, so the setup is actually quite good. But I decided to paint it out. Let me turn this layer on. For now, because I can always insert that character back, it's not that hard to do. Okay. Let me just delete this layer. Look. Okay, so here I start painting, and a few things. First, you can see I got rid of. Okay, let me just turn this layer on and off. So you can see, boom, boom, boom. Okay, I got rid of some of the stuff that's happening here because it's competing. You see this shape here? It runs through, but it runs through very, very awkward. It creates almost an arc here. That's very uncomfortable. It's not a very bold statement. In here, you have this very nice vertical building as a design. So it's very, very uh, man-made, very, very structured. So it's nice to run something organic underneath that creates contrast. However, the student made these really funky kind of uh, curves that go in here, and what that does, it kind of distracts from the image. So I just basically took those out. You can see here, right? Kind of just soften that up a little bit, and then I also continue some of these houses over here. You can kind of see I darken them up a little bit because obviously it has a light. Judging from this coming from the upper uh, right here, so this is the our light source, and this is a primary light. 
primary light meaning something like the sun or a fire or a light bulb, anything that's giving off its uh, own light source by converting heat into energy, therefore creating light. So the sun is the, is the biggest one here. Uh, and I, I got that from looking at his little light shadow here. Even though the rest of the painting is not well indicated, if you go back to say this one, there's a little bit of shadow going on here, there's some, these guys are kind of in that way. So the light is you know relatively from the right. And we don't have to be super perfect on this. The point of a production painting is, yes, there are a lot of rules you have to follow, and, and the the more you know, the better, of course. But you also got to take into consideration the creativity, the time it takes to do these, um, the, the impact you try to make. So not always are the rules followed. So yeah, you're on and off, the shadow's a little off here and there. But if you get the overall thing correct, you know what? It's good enough. You know, it's good. You know, in the scheme of, produc uh, of produc uh, production painting. Okay. Uh, sorry, speaking too fast. Let me slow down so I don't uh, stutter and make myself sound really retarded. Okay, so here we're going to turn on this layer and what let me get a coffee actually pardon for a second all right so this layer turned this on what do you have i basically enlarged the focus point okay which is this big building here because this is our first view this is the selling point and i just felt like in this one the amount of space you take up is very similar to the amount of space he takes up here and to better think of it is imagine you take this shape here and you create a volume with it, like you to somehow make it into a container. Okay. And here's the container for this shape. And then you take a container for the rest of the stuff out here, which is like these two houses. And you then proceed to pour uh, a water, you know, here's my cheap not so good water bottle into this, okay, and you pour that into here as well, okay, and imagine the amount of water that that will take to fill this up, right, the volume it will take, here's my preschool level water, and the amount of water it takes up, in this case it looks very similar, it looks like the volume that's going to take up this, okay, it's going to be very similar to the volume that take up this, and in general, if this is a selling point here, you probably want this to take up more. Again, it's case by case, all right. But in this case, we have a building that's straight in your face. It's huge. It's very, um, uh, very, uh, I guess, grand in stature. Okay, so we want that to really read. So what I did is I pumped it up, right? Boom, a little bit bigger on the page, right? Especially working on uh, Hollywood films or games, you you know, make it bold, make the audience really see it. So now this is definitely taking a priority. In the read, so I just basically copy and pasted it. Boom, boom, boom. There, everything kind of went with it. Nice and.